So we know how good at hockey Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen is for the Colorado Avalanche on the first line. But the biggest thing with the Avalanche has been trying to find the third person there. Because you have Gabriel Landeskog who got hurt and it's been out since the 2022 playoff run where they won the Stanley Cup. And then you're still missing that piece to go with them. And I think the Colorado Avalanche has found that piece this year with Jonathan Druin. Now, the Colorado Avalanche last year signed Jonathan Druin to a one-year deal and is a current free agency for this upcoming free agency period. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? I'm your boy, Rocky Mountain Hockey, also known as Hayden. And today we're going to be breaking down whether or not the Colorado Avalanche should go and resign Jonathan Druin. And the answer for me is simple. Yes. Even with the return of Gabriel Berlandis, guy looking to be more and more likely heading into the 2024 2025 season. I say you still do it because here's the thing with Landis guy you can move in around like they did in the cup run. Because in the Stanley Cup, he was with, with the second line more. He mixed in between the first and second line. You can do that with him and Drew and luckily, and have him on the first power play. You, your power play will be so unstoppable because you would have Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr at, as a defenseman, Jonathan Drew and Miko Ranton, and Gabriel Landeskog. Landeskog in the, down in the trenches. Miko, like, just the passing that's going to come through, the shots that's going to come through because of it. Because all these players are amazing at passing, especially Jonathan Drew. You could argue it's the best passer on the Colorado Avalanche last year, who took a hometown deal to play with his best friend, Nathan McKinnon. And he said again after they got eliminated to the Dallas Stars in Game 6, he would like to re-sign with the Colorado Avalanche as well. So, you got Jonathan Druin coming off a career year. 56 total points he had. That is his best he has had. Of course, it's up there with the 2016-17 year he had with the Tampa Bay Lightning and the 2018-19 year he had with the Montreal Canadiens. But overall, Jonathan Druin has had his best years in a hockey jersey with the Colorado Avalanche playing with Nathan McKinnon meets Cole Rantanen on that first line and it showed and it's working because him and McKinnon if you have a two on one 90% of the time that's probably going to go in if you have those two going it is because both of them can shoot it both of them can make an amazing pass to the other where only they can get it and take a quick shot it's going to be hard for even veteran goings like Igor Shusirk and Connor Hellebuck and, of course, Jared Ottinger and many other goalies to even track that. That's how deadly that is. And overall, Jonathan Druin had played a total of 79 games, had 19 goals. Not his best, but his second best. The best was in 2016-17 with the Lightning. Uh, 37 assists and 56 points. Uh, plus minus is 12. And shots on goal really didn't re record that, which... I don't know why, but overall, he played great, great hockey this year and played amazing. Oh, shootout goals. My bad. Didn't have any. Um, He played great hockey and can't even deny it. He was huge because you got two amazing goal scorers with Miko Rantanen and Nathan McKinnon on that first line. You need a guy who can score himself if it's a fast break and a guy who can get the puck to these guys when you're in the offensive zone and that's what he, basically happened and what he did was important for the Colorado Avalanche was because of what Jonathan Duran did which helped Miko Rantanen hit another 100 point season which helped Nathan McKinnon have over 140 point season being talked about as an MVP Jonathan Duran was huge for the Colorado Avalanche and it is a big yes him and middle set has to be your two priorities this offseason for re-signing it has to be them too because of how good both of them are for the Avalanche middle set on the second line being like a Jonathan Druin 
he can score himself, but his ability to make the amazing passes, behind the back passes, quick passes to guys like Felton and Chuskin for Middlesex case, Jonathan Druin's case, Miko Rantanen, who's trying to get a rebound, who's trying to help get a quick one on. You want a guy like Jonathan Druin on your team, and that's going to be huge for the Avalanche heading into next season is having a guy like Jonathan Druin. But let me know down below. What do you think? Do you think the Colorado Avalanche should sign Jonathan Druin to an extension? If not, let me know. If you guys haven't already, hit that like and sub button. And as always, go Avs, go.